Hi guys, my family just came over. Um, my mom and my aunt, who live like five minutes away from me. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on cooking the shiro with my aunt. She's gonna show me step by step what I have to do. Typically I live like super close to my family, so I go and eat with them. Um, and I don't have to worry about making it, but I thought it's time I'm grown I have my own place and that it's time for me to learn how to do it myself So I have my aunt there and I have my mother there um, Already ready to go. So let's get started Here is the shiro that we like to use um, just some side note. We don't buy the shiro in the store We actually have a family member who prepares it in Ethiopia and then someone sends it to us And I believe I hope I'm not saying it incorrectly, but this is the mitten shiro um, and then we also have jalapenos and the tomato um, that we like to have on the side. So we'll chop all that up and then get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch my aunt and she'll show me exactly how to make it. I need to get a pot, I think a medium sized pot. And then what's next? What do I need after that? Mm, like, uh, like this one? This is okay? Oh, let my mama say. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so we can scoop it in there. The whole thing? Too much. Okay. Do you need a smaller one? It's okay. Okay. Too easy. Okay. This is it. Perfect. Perfect. More. Good. How do you know when it's finished? Wish. How high? Not too much. Okay. Medium? Yeah. Okay. So you have to spread it? Okay. Okay. the special sugar. Thank you so much. <laughs> a good girl. Even have some incense. This one is from World Market. I grew up to love it so much. Um, my dad used to always have incense in the house and it just makes the whole house smell so good. And it comes with so many sticks, so I probably won't run out for a while. So just what, circle? Yeah, oh, any. That's it? Yeah. Gonna. It's not ready. Yeah. Okay. Hey, making shudo for the first time. Long overdue. I'm just so lucky to live five minutes from my mom and aunt and they make it for me. <laughs> it's getting thick already. Yes. Uh. Yes. Okay. You want to cut it this one like this? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. We have canola oil. Look at Bella. Bella. You're always in the way. Uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so good. There you go. Oh. Okay. Just to give you guys some background, shuro is one of my favorite Ethiopian dishes along with kutfo. Um, and with kutfo, I like to have aib on the side, and I also love tips. So those are like my top three. Now we're gonna prep the tomatoes. Okay, everybody, uh, finally, here's my beautiful mother. Say hello. Hi, everybody. Yep, she lives five minutes away from me, so she can come say hi anytime. And we are just here finishing up with the tomatoes. Uh, we just washed them, and then we're gonna slice them up.
over here responsible with the shiro, making sure I stir it enough. Can't forget about it. Looks good. It also has like a nice level of spiciness to it. Now we add it to the tomatoes, and then we'll need olive oil, right? Salt, pepper. Black pepper. Okay. Lemon. Olive oil. What else? You need vinegar? No. Okay. No. Now she's adding some black pepper and then some oh, salt and then olive oil. Maybe I should have given you a bigger bowl. Is this okay? This is good, right? Yeah. Yet a fussy matter. Okay. Oh, so it's too much. Okay. So you want to reduce it? Yeah. Okay. But how long, like, how long if I make shiro today? It lasts me until next weekend? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I've learned that when you cook the shiro, how you know it's done is that the bubbles stop and then the oil that was used comes to the top and that's how you kind of know. And then once you've gotten it to the thickness um, that you like it, then you don't need to add any more water um, and then you can just kind of watch as it gets ready. Time to prepare the table. They like small plates and then I'm starving so I'm gonna have a big plate. All right, off we go. We are done turning the heat off. Table is set, and then she's just preparing the injera on this plate, and then we shall get to feasting. Let me know down below which um, Ethiopian dish is your favorite. I know I have some Ethiopian followers and then non-Ethiopian, obviously, so if you haven't tried it before, I highly, highly recommend. It is one of my favorite dishes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and I'm just transferring it over to this Hot, so I can take it to the table and then we should be good to go. It looks so good. It smells so good Do you want the jalapeno? Yes. Okay, you can see how the oil came to the top. I didn't know that was a thing <laughs> Yummy 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 Perfect combination Anyone who's not Ethiopian, a little fun fact, when you eat Ethiopian food, obviously you use your hands with the injera, but also you only eat with your right hand um, and you tend to leave your left hand clean um, for water or for drinks or if you wanna add something to your plate. Um, in general, you keep one hand clean so that you can do something since you're eating with your hands. But so far, the shiro is so good, it has a nice spicy kick to it. Some funny and old times, my mom's gonna give me a gorsha. Gorsha is when somebody wants to feed you and usually you accept it, it's like kind and respectful, so. Uh. Mm. Uncle? <laughs> <laughs> So my mom and aunt just left and it was an amazing day. Um, lots of quality family time, which is what I needed. I absolutely love them to death. So it was so nice to kind of bond with them and be able to make uh, one of our favorite dishes together. It's about six o'clock at night um, and I'm about to go ahead out and pick up Morton from his, uh, he went to a Nats game in DC. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Um, and then I probably make some dinner or go pick something up. I'm not sure if I have the energy to cook something, but yeah, it was a really, really nice day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's really, really special to me just to share that kind of side of me to you guys. And if you want some more type of cooking videos, um, um, with Ethiopian dishes, let me know and I would be glad to do it. They do get harder, I feel like. Shiro might be the easiest one to make. 
So let me know down below in the comment section. I will have all the ingredients used and the recipe in the description box. So I will see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't already, I hope you gave this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.